In this video, I'm going to show you how to run PowerShell scripts on machines that don't have PowerShell Core installed on them. So right here, I actually have a Windows 10 machine that does not have PowerShell Core installed. Using the new feature of PowerShell Pro Tools, uh, you can now package the PowerShell Core engine inside your packaged executables. This also includes the .NET runtime in order to run the PowerShell uh, engine. So I have a script here that uh, all it does is it outputs PS version table. Uh, if you run it in PowerShell Core, it'll output you know 6.1. Uh, in this other file, I have um, a call to the merge script commandlet. Uh, merge script allows you to uh, create uh, executables that include uh, embed PowerShell scripts that you can run on remote machines without having to deploy the PowerShell script itself. Typically, it requires that you have PowerShell or Windows PowerShell installed on the target machine for that script to run. With the new feature in uh, the PowerShell Pro Tools module, you can now embed the PowerShell engine directly into the executable, so there's no need to install PowerShell Core on the target machine. Here's an example configuration that we use to actually create an executable of that type. The first thing that we need to specify is the root. This is the script that we're going to actually be using to uh, put inside the executable and to run when the executable is run. Next, you want to specify the output path. The output path is used um, for the location of the executable. So you'll see that a folder will be created and your executable will be put into that folder. Next, we want to specify the packaging settings. First, we need to enable packaging. Second, we need to uh, specify that we want to include the PowerShell Core engine inside our package, and that's why you specify this PowerShell Core uh, property of this hash table. Finally, we want to bundle any modules that are included directly with PowerShell Core, such as the utility or security modules directly into the package. Let's go ahead and run this script. You'll want to run this script using um, PowerShell Core so that it um, can successfully find the PowerShell engine. Um, additionally, what you'll notice about the packaged executable is that it's significantly larger than a packaged executable that you would have generated without the PowerShell Core engine. This is because it includes all the files and assemblies required to run PowerShell Core, um, as well as the .NET Core runtime. This means that your uh, final executable is about uh, 48 megabytes um, base size. So if you include more modules or include more scripts, it could be um, a larger. So let's actually copy this script over to our Windows 10 machine that doesn't have PowerShell Core installed. So now that my script is on this machine, I can actually go and run it. You can see that it's just an executable, and I run it. The first time it starts up, it takes a second because it's actually extracting all of the uh, resources that it needs to run um, PowerShell Core. Um, and then, as you can see, it output the uh, PowerShell uh, PS version table to our command prompt here. And you can see that it is actually running PowerShell Core uh, 6.1 uh, in this machine that does not have it installed.